Now we'll go on to the next session titled The Approach of Big Sale in Japan Ichiba. Now please welcome Mr. Yusuke Kobayashi, Mr. Osamu Iwasaki, and Mr. Makito Hashiyama of Rakuten. So uh, nice to meet you. Thank you for coming, all coming today uh, in spite of the bad weather. Uh, I'm very excited to speak about Ichiba. So uh, today uh, I want to talk about uh, approach the, of big sales in Japan Ichiba. Yes, uh, don't mention the Nogizaga 46. And uh, let me introduce uh, myself briefly. Uh, I'm a person in charge of uh, Japan Ichiba section and the Japan Mall Group, group manager. I joined Rakuten in 2005. And at first, uh, I started to, uh, as for the engineer in Infosic and transferred to Ichiba from 2009. And today's index is here. Uh, I want to talk about three points. One is scale of uh, big sales. And uh, second is history of success. Uh, we failed uh, this uh, big event at first, but we improved step by step. And third part, uh, I want uh, two guys uh, share about the case study uh, of checkout system and uh, infrastructure. So uh, Rakuten have uh, usually uh, we we have the shopping marathon, and but uh, last year we started a super sale. And this uh, sale uh, provided half price items and. Uh, Yes, points and uh, special items. And uh, last month, uh, Eagles win the Pacific Leagues, so we, we, we held the uh, victory sales. So moving to the uh, first topic about scale of big sales. As you know, the Rakuten is the number one e-commerce site in Japan. Uh, this is a very uh, big uh, sales per day or on this year's uh, June 3rd, about uh, 15 billion yen per day. And this is uh, transaction volumes uh, here. Usually, uh, the traffic about is about uh, from 20 to 40 gigabps, but uh, in the super sale, is very high. And the uh, last big uh, victory sale was very huge traffic came to the Rakuten Ichiba, about 140 gigabps. It was 5% uh, traffic of entire Japan internet band. And uh, this is uh, uh, all the numbers, uh, graphs, uh, comparison of uh, uh, usual days and uh, between the big sales. This is uh, uh, first uh, about 20 minutes. Uh, the order numbers was very huge, uh, like about eight, uh, seven or eight times than usual. And uh, moving on to the second topics, uh, history of success. So at that time, we, we monitored uh, in the office uh, related members, about 100 uh, DU members. And yes, <laughs> yes, sale is so uh, very long time, so we, we need uh, these energies. About history, uh, from last year we had uh, seven times a big sale. At first, last year March, the result was not the result was bad, too bad, because of the troubles, system troubles. And the second time, June, uh, trouble happens too. And last December. <laughs> troubles happen too. But uh, from this year, we, uh, we held a road test and uh, yes, improve our systems very rapidly. And we 
could uh, achieve target, but uh, some system has troubles. And this June is very good. Uh, it was very good performance. And uh, September was good, very good too. And last victory sale, mm, some uh, applications uh, went busy and slowed down and uh, crashed. So it was so, so good. So uh, I want to talk about in detail of uh, these uh, troubles. The first uh, 2012 March, uh, we started, just we started uh, these big sales. So we provided the special items and uh, half price items. And we started the TV commercials. The impact was very big. At that time, uh, almost all service uh, went busy or delayed or crashed. So showed a uh, sorry page. And at that time, uh, Mickey came to the office and uh, monitored uh, systems together and monitors me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I didn't know that that at the time, but uh, yes, I. Yes, the summary. Uh, almost all service was delayed and uh, uh, crashed because of you know the huge traffic came from, uh, came, and applications high load and also Debian and the NFS was high load, and about uh, band frequency, uh, so many data. Uh, data transaction happened, so the overband frequency. So the main big point is, uh, I think, uh, mass media power was so huge. So all of them, uh, all of uh, Japanese people knows uh, news, Rakuten uh, Ichiba uh, Supercell. At that time, what we just, we did uh, only restart and reboot so many times just only these operations, because uh, at that time we did not uh, private cloud environment at that time, so we need to, the, we, uh, we used the physical servers, so just only <laughs> restarted. And uh, creative web design teams uh, control the access. So uh, after this cell, we uh, considered how we can improve our systems and uh, one is it has uh, many servers and uh, band bandwidth limitation, uh, expand the band limitation, and uh, tuning middleware, like so many uh, middlewares, and uh, decrease uh, waste traffic, and uh, also the, as for the front end side, uh, we uh, adjusted the uh, content control and uh, web front speed up, like uh, compressed uh, JavaScript or uh, CSS3 and so forth. So uh, next uh, June, last year's June, Supercell. So we expanded uh, 40 hours. Uh, I will, I will, tell, uh, I will uh, show the reason later. At that time, Checkout system and uh, ID service were delayed and uh, crashed. So uh, this time, uh, ID service uh, went went down. Uh, went down. So uh, this is a very uh, big impact. This graph is a uh, uh, sales uh, graphs. So uh, we expanded the period uh, due to the big troubles. So what happened at the time? Uh, this time, uh, ID service went down so because uh, CS DB connection errors happened. So uh, we just only to uh, we just only suspend the ID service at the time. So and uh, ID service uh, impacted to entire Lactin group. So 
all service uses uh, Rakuten uh, ID, so this is a very huge impact to all services, not only Rakuten Ichiba. And as for the checkout, uh, in this time, we just only these four things, uh, changing the threshold and uh, enhance uh, application instances and uh, some uh, configuration tuning, but API was so high, uh, high load. So we did uh, only 24 hours. For the countermeasure of these troubles, uh, as for the ID service, uh, migration of database servers, and uh, at that time, uh, we considered uh, to transfer to a cloud environment, not using physical servers. And I think this is a very big decision. Uh, we did a load test on production environment because uh, we did not, uh, we have a staging, a testing environment, but uh, you know, the spec and uh, scale is different uh, between staging and production. So, uh, we did. Uh, we decided to do the stress test, road tests in the production environment. So after these uh, countermeasures, uh, last year's December supercell. Also, uh, checker system uh, was not so good uh, performance, and uh, at that time, a uh, search and item page. Uh, were delayed. Uh, this is a graph. So the target is a uh, green line, but uh, we had uh, these big times uh, trouble happened. So uh, yes, December is a very, uh, December is most uh, high traffic comes uh, in Ichiba. So we could not uh, control the access uh, in the search and the item page. So wh what we did at the time uh, of search service, so application load was so high, so we, add, uh, crowd, we, we used a cloud environment uh, within four hours, about 65 instances like this, but the load balancer was uh, go to the high load, so we could not control the so many uh, access in the such services. As for the item page, uh, we use uh, NFS uh, network file systems. Uh, this uh, systems uh, this utility was one hundred percent, so. Uh, between application and uh, NFS uh, connection delayed. At that time, uh, we could not keep the item page service uh, stable, so we switched to Akamai during the that was just only peak time, uh, caching the 25 minutes, uh, and. Uh, all uh, item page cache, so the inventory data was not updated in real time. So it is not, it is not uh, good solutions for shoppers, but uh, it was a very uh, emergency situation, so we decided to use it. And after that, uh, calling number to the NFS and uh, CPU was uh, rapidly uh, going down. As for the checkout, uh, also the high load, uh, but uh, Hashimakun will uh, tell, uh, will speak, uh, will, will explain the detail in data. So as for the countermeasure, we continuously doing the load tests uh, on the checkout systems because uh, at that time we could not uh, know the capacity, ac accurate capacity of checkout systems. And uh, as for the item page, uh, we need to decrease uh, NFS calling numbers and uh, decrease the CPU. And also the transfer the uh, cloud environment gradually uh, to, to make more instance rapidly. So after this uh, troubles, we uh, migrate uh, item page application and uh, system architectures 
So at first, uh, we uh, fix the uh, application layer. So decrease the uh, unnecessary file code to the NFS. And uh, we use uh, memcache uh, in the backend side. We use the memcache. Uh, and uh, to cache the shop information and the layout data, and not, uh, not include uh, inventory data. So because uh, inventory data is uh, most, be, inventory data should be uh, uh, fresh. After that, we could uh, decrease 30% uh, down of uh, NS scoring numbers. And uh, as for the loading tests, uh, we are doing so many times in the midnight on the production environment. And first, uh, we found uh, we fixed the cache systems, but uh, bottleneck moves to the backend side API. So we enhance the API. And then uh, application servers uh, has some issues. So uh, just like now, we are improving this application server performances. Yeah, we always have so many load tests for the checkout, uh, checkout systems before the supercell. And this is much, uh, as I mentioned before, almost service uh, keep, kept, kept, it, kept it stable. Very good job. Not so big trouble happens. And also the June and September, uh, we could keep uh, systems. But you know that from this year, Yes, egress uh, is very strong, <laughs> was very strong. So, uh, but we have no, uh, we have not so many uh, times to, to the preparation of these cells. At that time, uh, some points, uh, some uh, spike times. The first is after the game, just after the game. Uh, this is uh, came from the Yahoo topic, <laughs> and then uh, start time of uh, sup uh, victory sales. And I think here is uh, morning time. Uh, this is a newspaper advertisement. Uh, so at that time, so Yahoo topics uh, showed uh, these links. So many users came from the Yahoo. <laughs> And as you know, the, we provided uh, advertisement in the newspapers. At that time, uh, top page and search uh, were delayed because so many access, as I mentioned. So about six or seven times. So we we did not expect that uh, these big uh, accesses come from. Okay, moving to the uh, case study sessions. Uh, one is uh, about uh, checkout systems. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, we did uh, so many stress tests and uh, improving our application servers. So uh, this topic uh, is uh, talking by Hashemakun. And as for the infrastructure, uh, we, we are moving to the cloud environment and uh, we have uh, some network issues. So uh, this uh, topic is speak by the Iwasaki-san. So I will move to the hand mic to the Hashiyama-kun. <laughs> hey, good afternoon. So let me uh, introduce myself. So my name is Makito Hashiyama. Uh, I'm in charge of team manager of uh, API uh, for Lactin Ichibar. So uh, recent, as a recent activity, uh, I made a presentation uh, at the Java One 2030 about Glassfish. So let me introduce about the uh, checkout API of uh, Lactin Ichibar. 
The Checkout API is uh, one of most important API for React Native Well. Uh, it behaves like a service bus based on service-oriented architecture. Checkout API calls more than 50, 15 external API and uh, mashes up their result. Then provides a, a service uh, with uh, the client side. The checkout API consisted of, of more than 100 application servers. So we provide uh, over 50 services, uh, which is uh, necessary for the uh, checkout service. For example, to get and uh, set shopper or uh, merchant information through API. Validation, the validate uh, user input. Update inventory, the item correctly. Register the order data into DB, and so on. For example, if client side want to uh, add the item to the shop pass cut, then uh, they call the adding cut service of checkout API. After that, checkout API call the external API and uh, get the item information and the shop pass cut information, then add the item to the shop pass cut. In addition to this, Checkout API is a stateful API. It means Checkout API manage the session information instead of client side. It create, create a unique key for each transaction and uh, uh, store it uh, with the key value store. Client side only has to call our API with the key. So it means the uh, client side is freed from the session management, in session management. So the, let me see the improvement case of the Lactin SuperSale. As Mr. Kobayashi mentioned, uh, we have the biggest online sale called Lactin Super Sale few times a year. At the beginning of the sale, many shoppers quickly visit and buy uh, some wagons items. It causes the delay of some services. We have the performance bottleneck in the external API, and it causes our API slowdown. As a fundamental solution, we ask the external API to keep service level agreement, but we had no time to do so. So we need to decide that uh, we ourselves uh, improve our system. To detect the bottleneck, we executed the load test again and again on production environment at midnight. It took, uh, 50, it took over 50 times with JMeter uh, to solve the, solve the problem. problem. As you can see, we prepared uh, a lot of dummy data, shoppers data, item data, and merchant data to reproduce the sales, real sales load as much as possible. As a result of load test, 
Finally, the bottleneck moved to the application server. To solve the performance bottleneck issue, we need to understand the details of checkout API server, uh, server, application server. When we receive the request from client side, checkout API put a request into a task queue. Then the worker threads process the request one by one. The, at the beginning of, of the sale, external API occurred the delay, and it caused the CPU load, uh, CPU, high load, CPU high load. We needed to improve the, this issue. Using the VM stat to monitor the server, we found that the run queue parameter was very high. We assumed that the, the number of worker thread is too much compared to the CPU performance when the external API delayed. So we try to decrease the number of thread gradually to reduce the run queue parameter to keep, to keep it low level. When we decrease the number of thread four times from the original, original size, the load test recorded the uh, best result. Of course, we decreased the number of worker thread. The latency increased a little bit, but the throughput was improved drastically. It was a trade-off between latency and throughput. As a result of tuning, Checkout API could process over 12,000 12, transactions per minute. One transaction includes um, many processes, like uh, adding uh, some item to shopping cart, fill the user input, choose a uh, payment or, or delivery way, and completed their shopping process. We also achieved 30,000 30, transactions per minute in load test. So just yesterday we did. In the future, we need to improve like, such as set a service level agreement for each external API and uh, resolve the, some performance issues, as you can see. Thank you. The next is... Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, next part is from me. and. Uh, and Oh, introduction. And my name is Osamu Yasaki, and uh, I'm the network engineer and cloud engineer uh, in the Rakuten company. And, uh, and my role is the best group manager of the server platform groups and network administration groups. Okay, and I'll show you the, and what happened uh, in, uh, uh, behind the supercell in the network side. And uh, as you can see, and our traffic history is uh, dramatically growing, growing, and since past uh, this uh, two or three years, and uh, 2009 we are just only handling the 20 gigabit gig, uh, BPS traffic, but the last 
Victory Theo and uh, very, very huge traffic is coming in the right-hand side. And this uh, traffic volume is uh, about the 5% of the entire Japan's traffic. This is the Victory Theo. And uh, some of the spikes and, uh, of the past years is the Super Theo traffic. And also, uh, this is the chart trend in the, and the focus on the uh, super sale is, uh, yes, very, very huge numbers, and we're handling. So the, anytime we are facing the um, challenging at the peak times. And also, and just information is also our, our shares, and shares of the, and the uh, and shares of the, uh, our each bus, uh, to, uh, sales, and, uh, 2011 is uh, just 20% of the mobile uh, uh, sales, but uh, at the recent year is increasing rapidly, and at now is 40%, and maybe the almost cross the this and uh, sales ratio, and to uh, uh, to instead of the PC and sales. And also, and as uh, Iskisa mentioned, in the, uh, we have the private cloud systems, and uh, this is uh, very, very helpful uh, to the, and to, for the services in the, the HVAC systems. And we uh, also, the, and before the preparation, and so the, in case of the emergency of the rapidly uh, resource enhancement, and so the and last month is uh, almost we hit the 10,000 virtual machines running on the Arctic environments uh, for the each kind of the big sales. So again, and as you know, the, our, our baseball teams and take the champion flags in the uh, past week leagues. And so the, maybe from the today, the, we, we will fight the Giants to get the real uh, Japan number one. But yes, and as you know, the uh, peak time, peak time means our uh, sales start time is uh, sometime have the coming the peak Bussing traffic, and so the sometimes our load balancer is pitch is facing to the global side is unstable station, and so this is a chart of the ship utilization and from the uh, behind the super sales and during the super sale uh, at the uh, peak time of the super sale, and from the and um, zero 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 G uh, time is almost. Uh, 15 minutes is the peak, hits the peaks, uh, CP load hits the 100%. Is this time is uh, hard to control the each and uh, traffic to the uh, website and so the and sometimes uh, you, you you are clicking clicking so the not showing the pages. The reason uh, reason why is uh, our load balancer is uh, has the CP is high and unstable and uh, and could couldn't uh, respond your uh, request from the web servers. And so the, but the, we have the next, we have the 20 hours and for the next spike, next spike means the night time is, is the, we have the uh, tone of the uh, peak traffic and so the, and during the day times and we expand it and separate the VIP. VIP is the, and the double double, example is the double 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 and Rakuten COJP is the virtual IP, is just a virtual IP and behind the domain is we have the tone of the servers over 100 and of course the load balancer will be separated to the each server. But but the, uh, during the daytime we separate it to the uh, biggest VIP to the other VIPs and relocation, reallocation, and uh, uh, tuning and the balancer settings. So the after the result, uh, we decrease and separate the each uh, VIP traffic and uh, nothing problem of the after the initial spikes. But it's not enough the, uh, the big sales. And uh, this model is uh, just uh, capable of the three times, but the big sale is not enough three times. So that this time for the next, we have the this plan. And uh, in general, and we, we are using the standby load balancer uh, to increase the uh, quality and uh, stability. But uh, in, in, during the big sales, we will use uh, this uh, standby and the resources and uh, shift to the active uh, VIP to some of the active VIP too and migrate to the standby side and uh, use the CPU utilization the after the result, result we could and perform the six times and uh, performance uh, before the and regular time and after the and uh, this and active active model so the next uh, victory is ready yes we are network side is ready but the six time 
is just a short term counteraction. And so the wishing, wishing is, is not enough. So the we, now we are planning the real actual scale out model for the network side and for the next victory or the worldwide sale. I don't know the uh, names, but the, maybe some of the big sale will be coming in uh, uh, next month or next year. So we will, we will anytime counting the action for the each uh, big spike traffic. Yes, thank you very much. So the, I might hand it back to the Yusuke san. And that's for the wrap up. Yes, uh, Lakuten is a uh, number one internet e commerce site in Japan, and uh, traffic was 5% uh, of entire Japan internet. And sales are over the 15 billion yen per day. And we are continuously tuning up, uh, improvement our applications, and uh, we are moving to the cloud environment more efficiently. And uh, we are uh, expand globally about the supercell. We uh, held uh, supercell in Germany and uh, US and so forth. And uh, finally, I want to say, uh, yes, Eagles uh, fight Japan Seas uh, from tonight. And so uh, if Eagles win the Giants, uh, may, maybe uh, we will have a very, very, very big sales uh, <laughs> after the game. So uh, we are improving our systems. Uh, we need to uh, our system stable. And uh, please memorize uh, we Lacton engineers. We are uh, working in the back at uh, these big sales. Don't miss it. Thank you very much. For, uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to contact us. Thank you very much. OK, thank you. And now we'll have Q&A session. Uh, if you have questions, please raise your hands. No questions? Don't be shy. We still have time. No? Okay, so we'll end the session. Thank you very much. And now we'll have a break and next